everyone, I'm Anna Hethmaker with Hethmaker Violins, and this is another one of our Student Stuck at Home video series. Now, if you've been paying attention, you know that a couple of weeks ago, I did a video on beginning sight reading. And I'm going to add today sight reading number two. This is more intermediate, so we're gonna add a few more steps into your sight reading practice to make you excellent. And then later this week, we'll do the final one. We'll do advanced sight reading to make you a sight reading rock star. Today, we're gonna to talk about two things that really separates the men from the boys, the women from the girls, the excellent musicians from the not so excellent musicians. We're gonna talk about shifting and we're gonna talk about rhythms. Now, here is the thing about shifting on sight reading. Everyone is taking their time to look at their sight reading, your 30 seconds or your 60 seconds, and you see shifting, you go, oh my gosh, okay, I have to shift up to that E and then you go on and you study the rest of the music. The problem with most people in, in sight reading shifts is they look at how to go up the shift, but they forget to look at how to come back down. So I tell my students, when you come to practicing shifting for your sight reading, I want you to ask yourself a couple of different questions. What finger am I going from and what finger am I going to? What note am I going from and what note am I going to? And you have to do that going up and going down. Now that sounds like a lot of information. It sounds like a lot of studying to do when you're only given 30 seconds or 60 seconds to do a sight reading excerpt. But once you practice it, you get faster and faster and faster. The thing I want you to really think about is that entire shift because almost every student can shift up to the higher notes, but they forget how to get back down and that's what trips them up. Now, in addition to shifting in your sight reading, because that is one of gonna be the big thing that um, trips everyone up, the next is gonna be rhythms. And here's the thing, you do not have to study an entire sight reading excerpt rhythmically. I bet anything, you know how many beats are in a quarter note. I bet you know how many beats are in a half note. You have to know what is gonna potentially trip you up. And it's different for everybody, for instance, I am a rock star when it comes to dotted eighths and sixteenths. I can do that in sight reading all day long. But if you turn it around, you do the Scottish snap, where you have a sixteenth and then the dotted eighth, it messes with my mind every single time. You need to know which rhythms tend to trip you up, which ones make you go, uh, because it's that moment of hesitation in sight reading that causes you to have an issue. So how are you gonna learn that for rhythms? I'm gonna suggest, do you know this book? Essentials for Strings, not Essential Elements, but Essentials for Strings. I went off and left mine at home. This book has, in the beginning, it has four or five pages of nothing but rhythmic exercises. They start super easy and they get harder and harder and harder and harder. They are the most wonderful things. If you literally every day will take half a line and count it, just play it on an open D string. Then the next day, take another half of a line. If you get to a line that's tripping you up, aha, then you know that's the thing you've got to work on. Once you've worked your way through all those pages of the rhythm exercises, maybe it'll take you nine months. Once you've worked your way through all of them, you will become a sight reader who rhythm would never, ever, ever trip up. And that's your goal. Trust me, there's other things that are going to trip you up. You want to know your rhythms really clearly. But more importantly, you want to know yourself. You want to know this is what might happen be a problem the rest is easy so that when you study that excerpt you can skim through it really quickly just like when you're looking for accidentals and if you see something down here that might trip you up rhythmically you recognize it and you can figure it out real quickly before you play shifting and rhythm these are intermediate skills when it comes to sight reading that are going to really help you gain those points on an audition I hope this helps. If you have any questions about either of these things, you can email me at Huthmaker Violins. I love to talk about sight reading all the time. I'm Anna Huthmaker from Huthmaker Violins. Now go thank your orchestra directors. <laughs>